Okay, this is Ringwalk Media and Association with Well Ice Therapy, JB Promotions and Still Hub Management. Matthew Tyndall, that was a bit better. Four rounds and a nice win. Yeah, I'm delighted with that. Um, a very mature uh, performance, I think. He came in trying to rough me up and I didn't let him. Well, he, he caught me a few shots in the back of the head, but he got a point taken right from it. But I done what I had to do. Um, I showed my skills, I think. Not, obviously, it's a very tough fight to take on your second pro fight, but I'm delighted I am because... Uh, I did, because uh, that's going to stick to me for later fights. Well, it was obvious it was in there to uh, cause some problems, and uh, using the head was one of those things that... It, First round. Yeah, we can see that. It's a naughty one, that. But, like you've said, you use your maturity. So, after that first round, when it was apparent that's what he was going to do, what did your team say to you? Uh, my dad and Jimmy helping got me back to the corner, and they calmed me down. Well, I, I wasn't, like jumping around but they calmed me down they said just use our skill to use our job and I done that and I was making a miss and just catching them and uh, yeah they, they tried to keep me calm because it's easy to just hold on and fight back with someone like that so uh, I, I was I think I boxed very maturely there and then that last round he was uh, mucking about a little bit and making a, a few few suggestions and that's the time when you actually really have to keep your head because it's so easy just to jump in with a punch isn't it yeah that, that's what he wanted me to do he was doing all that and all like with his gloves so I done it back to him to make him come to me. I don't think he liked that because he started putting a face on, but I knew that was going to happen. You know what I mean? He's a very experienced pro. He has 39 fights. He's fought the best in Europe. He has Harlem, Eubank, Sean McComb. Like, he's not going to fight them lads going to the decision with them for nothing. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm delighted with that performance, yeah. Well, the crowd seemed to enjoy it as well, and it was nice to see you actually using your skills and actually for us to see them, because obviously in the last fight, it was a very quick finish, so it was nice to see that. Obviously, um, activity is going to be key this year. Um, I, I'm assuming you're trying to get out probably in one of the, in the next couple. Yeah, I'm March 9th, and then the Belfast show in April, and then May, if, if there's a show there in May, I'm 100% on all of them. But uh, 9th of the March is the next one, so in a month, yeah. It's our case, it's no, no, uh, no holiday, it's back to the gym Monday morning, is it? No, I'm going to London in a couple of hours now, and uh, I'm back on Monday, and then I'll be in the gym on Tuesday. What are you doing in London? Just going away with my girlfriend for the weekend. <laughs> Guess what? On Saturday night, Queensbury at the Copper Box. I'm going to be there, you coming? Yeah, I think so, we might get a ticket, yeah, we might. We were going to if Pierce was on it, but he's not anymore, but uh, we still might go for a night out, you know what I mean? <laughs> Well, listen, and of course, you had an awful lot of, uh, of people supporting you out there tonight. I mean, they, they spur you on, don't they? It was unbelievable. Like, even when I, I wasn't even trying, I was making a miss. They were, it was like I was after knocking them out. Like, uh, they're unbelievable. Like, even when he was getting dirty, they, they kind of, when I was hearing them, it made me calm. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people, it makes them jump up and try brawl. But when I hear them doing it, it's, I know I'm doing something right. Do you know what I mean? So I'm happy with it. I'm so happy with how they came out and, and the supporters from Bray are unbelievable there. Listen, Jay's putting on some really good shows, show number two, um, a fights again, 50-50 fights and tough fights for people like yourself who were early on in your career. I mean, that must bode you well for perhaps earlier title fights. If you're in there showing people what you can actually do as opposed to just messing about with journeymen, it, it must help you. Ah, look, I could have went in there and got someone that could stop a one punch. What are you going to learn from that? That there tonight, I'm going to learn what you'd learn in three or four or five fights, you know what I mean? So I'm very happy with who we picked. And the next lad, we're going to go up to a six-rounder and we're going to get another lad that will that will hopefully be able to last the six rounds. So I'm building myself up. And uh, yeah, hopefully by the end of the year, we can get a, a Celtic title or something. If well, we, we've just watched uh, Sen and Kelly win the Celtic titles. That could be you in, you know, the end of the year. Uh, hopefully, yeah. He's boxed brilliant. Thanks. He boxed brilliant, yeah. I'm delighted for him. He's a nice lad. We sparred with him through this camp. But that, oh, he was my sparring partner for this camp. He's unbelievable. And I'm just happy that he, he got it over the line tonight. So. You've been sparring Sean McComb and uh, you know, Son and Kelly. And I mean, that's not bad preparation. No, it's not. If you're doing well with them, you're, you know you're in a good spot. <laughs> well, listen, congratulations on a great night. Um, we look forward to uh, March and uh, fight number three for Matthew Tyndall. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I hope to see you then. And. Uh, on another good show, yeah. Nice one, mate. Well done. Thanks for coming out. Thanks.